Hi everyone, welcome to day four. Boom, boom, boom. You're doing amazing. Well done getting this far along the journey. You're nearly there, you're on the home straight. So come back and join me for some more bar today. I hope you enjoyed Tuesday's bar. Tuesday might've been Tuesday for you. I'm just thinking a Monday to Friday time frame in my head. Hopefully you enjoyed whatever day it is. Um, you enjoyed bar the other day, enjoyed your Tabata yesterday, and today we're heading back to that low impact cardio zone. So I hope you're feeling, you might be feeling a bit tired today, but I really encourage you to push through that you can do this. This is really gonna leave you feeling energized afterwards. Have fun, take the modifications that you need, listen to your body, grab your bar stool, grab your bench, your window ledge, a seat, whatever you can find to help you use as a little makeshift bar and come join me. Hi guys, welcome to day number four. Hope you're all feeling really energized, got your water with you. Let's get into today. Let's build on what we did the other day and get that body pumping and flowing and feeling great. And we're gonna focus in on that standing core area. It's gonna really be a good burner today. Grab your little bari. I've got mine, you might have a chair bench, just so fine. Just have a little prance through the feet just to find ourselves, ground ourselves. Inhale. Exhale out, let's go for three, two. Last one, I'm gonna ground this leg closest to my bar. I'm gonna pick up that other leg into some nice big hip rotations. So I'm just gonna tap the foot forward, rotate, open the hips, tap out. So I'm just waking up that hip flexor, getting a nice big rotation in that hip joint. We're looking after our hip health right here and tapping at the same time. I'm waking up those muscles in the glute and the leg and the core because I'm opening here. The core's working and coming back. Inhale, exhale, think about that Pilates breath. Ribcage sinking down. Elongation through the crown of the head. One more here. Tap it back. Bring it forward. It's just a nice little kick forward and back. Forward and back. Loosening up that joint. Beautiful work, guys. Nice and controlled. I'm just not tossing that leg. It's a controlled movement. Let's go for three, two. Last one. Bring it up. Hold here. Little pulses up. That's it. So that bend leg, we did straight leg the other day, but over here I'm really engaging that lower abs. Little pulses up. Inhale. Exhale out. If it's more comfortable for you to have a stabilizing side on the side, just do what works for you. Listen to your body. It's your practice. This is your time to feel good for you. Don't need to look like me. Just listen to the safety cues. But apart from that, have some fun. Let's go for three, two, one. We're going to step that leg back. Find that lunge, lift up. Step back, find that little lungey. So I'm just having a little, your knee doesn't need to tap the ground, but you can have a little tap, lift up. You still want to rest at the bottom there. It's just a little guide to get nice, deep and low. Remember, we did our lunges the other day. I want a nice 90. You should be able to pick up your toes. When I come down, I should be able to see my toes still. So make sure you're getting back far enough, right here. That's it, and pick it up. And pick it down. Doing good. Inhale. Exhale out. One more like here. Up. Down. Little pulses here. Gonna love our little pulses. Nice work. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Lift it back up. Take the leg to the side. Flex that foot. It's just a little lift and lower. So the foot's nice and flexed, and I'm just pushing out. I can feel that side here working, it's that muffin top area. Right here, core's pulling in. So not just working the stabilizing leg on the other side, the quad here is pulling up as I flex and push the energy out through my heel. I'm working the core, the oblique is working here. I'm decompressing away from the bar so the shoulders aren't creeping up to the ears. Inhale, exhale out. Let's go for five, four, Three, two, one, hold it out there, little pulses up. Whew, hello glutes. That's it, little pulses up. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, and bring it in. Little swizzle. Swizzling in that little joint right here, swizzling it in. And out, so it's like you're putting a cigarette. 
which I don't think many of us might know that now, or like, I don't know, smushing a bug. There we go. Smush that bug. Let's go for three, two, last one, bring it in. I'm going to take it to a little bit bigger. So now it's turning into a little figure eight. So I'm swooshing it in and out. So it's like I'm doing an eight with my toe. So it swooshes in towards the bar and out. I rotate, hips rotate and rotate. Slight bend on that grounded leg. So I rotate in, kick out. Rotate in. Get a little bit more movement as you warm up. Rotating. Working that core to stabilize you here. That leg can stay low, you can bring it high. Whatever feels nice for you. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Hold it out there, little lifts. That foot is pointed, nice long leg. Everything's in a nice line. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Step it back into a little curtsy. So it's just kind of tucked behind me, and we come here and lift. So now I've got to think about that curtsy. I'm correcting myself, so I was looking at you, and my hips were out. My hips are square. The glute sinks back. So you have to take some little corrections. So I glide up and down that wall. That foot's tucked back to that curtsy lunge. Right here. So it looks like this, so you can see. There. That's your curtsy. Right there. Let's go for three. Two. Last one, little pulses in that curtsy lunge. Whew, working that one side, unilateral work. I love it. Let's go. For five. Four, three, two, one, hold here. Hold down a lot. Great work. And lift up. Walk it around to the side. That was a little bit mean, wasn't I? Prance it out. Whew. Take that breath. We start with a nice big hip openers. Open, tap back. Open. Bring it back in. Whoa, already getting my sparkle on. Getting that little sweat, getting that heart rate up. It is really warm where I'm filming. It's toasty. It's like sweaty Pilates. That's it. And open up. And bring it back in. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do one more. Tap it in. Lift that knee up and over. Lift it back. Hold here. That controlled little swing. So I'm using this abs. So controlled swing. That's it. Just bring some nice movement into that leg. Let it know. It's gonna burn. That's it. Let's go for three. Two, last one, bend the foot, point the toe, swipe bend that stabilizing leg, lift, lift. Nice work, feel it core, working here, lifting up, inhale, exhale out. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, step it back into that beautiful lunge, sink it down, draw, lift up, back, sink down. Draw, lift up. Nice work, breathe. Inhale, exhale out. Tap it down, lift up. Three more here, and control, lift up. If you need, you can always tap the foot in here, then lift, tap, bring back. That was a terrible demonstration. It was meant to be like that, tap here, and then tap back. So take what feels nice for you. Sometimes I forget to show you different modifications the first time around, so sorry. You got it the second time around, maybe you have to do this video again. Maybe you can do it next week. See how you go. And then we just did totally more of these, but that's okay. Last one, take your back a little pulses here. I need to go back a little further, there we go. So this knee is nice and straight. Tap and lift, tap and lift. Beautiful work. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, step it up, swizzle, swizzle, squish the back, swizzling in that hip joint. Those little tiny muscles, working that mobility. Then, slight bend of the other leg, take a little figure out the little tondu. Make it small or as big as you like. But swizzle hips in, swizzle out. So I'm going in, rotate, rotate, turning my hips, getting my groovy. Thing on. So this is closer to a dance party you might get if you're stuck at home with kitties. So have some fun. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Swizzle in, kick out. Oh, we hold it here and we pulsed up. I only forgot. 
Point that foot and left. And left. Give me that side glute. Side body. Let's go for five. Four. Three. Two. One. Tuck it behind. That little curtsy right here. Body nice and upright. Little curtsy pops. Up and down. Up and down. Beautiful. That's a nice little tucked in position once again. It's here. And lift. We're just using that bar as a little eight. Let's go for five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Little pulses here. Make sure you're not drifting forward to get tired. Pick yourself up. That's it. For five. Four. Three. Two. One. Beautiful. Bring that leg on out. Give it a little wibble wobble. Wibble wobble. Come if you need to put your bar in front of you. Pop your bar in front of you. Come back with those nice little basic squats we did the other day. Tuck down. Squeeze the glutes. Tuck down. Squeeze the glutes. Beautiful. Now we've drawn unilaterally. We've worked them individually. Now we're making them squeeze and work together. Let's go for five. Four. Make sure those knees aren't flaring out or coming in. Row, row tracks. Two. Last one. Sink it down. Little pulses here. So you've got your chair. I've just got an imaginary chair in front of me right now, but you'll be holding onto a chair. Pulsing it back. Let the chair help you. Lift the chest up. Decompress the shoulders away. Let's go for three. Two. One. Squat down. Releve up. Squat down. Releve up. So this is like mimicking a jump squat, but we're not jumping. That's it. Sometimes jumping isn't fun when you've had kids. That's it. But if you want to add a little jump, you're more than welcome, or you can just take it to a releve. You can come down, jump up, come down, releve, come down, jump up. You can mix it up. Just do whatever feels right for you. Releve, down, jump up. Have fun. That's what we're about. Having a good time. Or we look after ourselves. Releve out. One more time. Squat it down. Hold that releve. Just a little halfway lift and lower. So with that releve happening in that parallel position, ankles hip width apart. Look, I'm going to catch my breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go for three. Two. Last one. And drop the heels. Holding onto the chair. I'm going to come side so you can see. So you're still holding onto the chair. We lift one leg back. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. Body staying nice and upright. I'm only lifting as far back as I keep that body upright. So the other day, one more here. I want you here. Tap and lift. Let's go for five. Four. Three. So you can hold onto your chair here if you like. Or come side on, whatever feels good. Last one. I'm going to hold there. Tap forward and tap back. So if you're a chair, you are just tapping here, tapping back. Or if you're side on, you can rainbow around a little bit more. Once again, take what feels nice. Don't lock out this grounded leg. Tap and tap. It's like what we're doing with that hip opener at the start. Let's go for five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Take it back. Ten more lifts. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Bend that leg in, bend the hand behind the head. We're gonna tap here, reach away. Tap here, you can reach over the other side if you like. So that's a tap in, reach away. Tap in, reach away. So you're gonna do the obliques and we're getting a beautiful stretch. So tap here, then reach, tip your body over like a little teapot. Tip, back in, and tip. Standing at. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one. Hold it over in that stretch. Try and really reach that arm over. Push the hips out nice and square. Inhale, exhale. Bring it up, back up to standing. March yourself on around. If you're in your chair, just switch to the other side. Nice and tall up. And lift. And lift. So it's only a small movement, I'm getting that upper glute. Pulling the belly down, it's here. It's here. Strong. Using that upper body, holding me right here. Beautiful work. 
Only a little more, but I can feel that. It's really working that glow. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it out. Tap forward, slight bend on that knee. Tap back. I want to protect those knee joints. So I'm trying to rainbow over like those rainbows we do on the ground. Rainbow. So I'm picking it up. Like there's a hot coal right here. Activate the quad. Be a nice and upright. Inhale. Exhale out. Use that breath. Engage that core. Inhale. That. The exhale. I'm drawing that, those core muscles in. Inhale. Exhale out. For three. Two. And last one, we bring it to the side, stretch over, tap in, reach, stretch the side body. Tap in, reach and stretch. Tap in, reach and stretch. That's it, nice work, tap it in, reach and stretch. Let's go for five, four, three, two, Last one, hold it over there, feel that beautiful stretch. For three, two, one, bring it down, back into the center, have a little march out. Grab a drink if you need a drink. Inhale, lift those hands up. Exhale out from here. If you need to hold prop inside the bar, you can. If you don't want to hold the bar, you don't need to hold on the bar. So similar moves what we've done before like we're doing, we lift opposite arm, opposite leg, and then we're gonna kick back. So if you need, you can hold here and kick back. So that's a little lift and lift. Or you can try with your balance, lift up, kick back. It's gonna be a bit slower if you're not holding onto that bar. Really working that core and kicking back. Lifting up and kicking back. So I'm really balancing using those stabilizing muscles once again, you can be here and kick. Let's do three, oh, my arms. <laughs> two, last one, hold that leg back, straighten it, straighten that arm, bring the other one to meet it, a little swimming here. So if you want to hold one arm, you can do one arm swim and leg, or you can bring both in and swim and kick. You can tap that leg down and just focus on this movement here and lift up when you can. So take what feels right for you. So my gaze is staying down, just in front of me, my ears are by the bicep, I'm thinking that long neck, and doing that swimming, I'm thinking of reaching through my fingers, reaching through my toes. Let's go for five, four, three, two, last one, bring it up, bring that knee in back to those little pulses here. Beautiful, the knee's gonna travel out, travel back. Whew. Slightly travel out as it pulses up. Bring it back in. Catch that breath. Working those lower abs. Bring it in. One more time. Travel it out. Bring it back in. Hold here. Pull it up to chest. Grab the other hand. A little stretch here as we balance. Rolling at the ankle. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. It's good to challenge those stabilizing muscles. We lose our balance as we get older, we have to work it. So start, to start low, work your way up. You can do it. You'll feel so much stronger and less likely to get injuries if we can improve that balance. If you bring that down, take it to the other side. So once again, is that lift here, lift back. So if you need, you can hold onto something here or you can lift Oh, now we're going to get the right angles. There we go. Oh, grounded leg. So this leg's a bit more fatigued because it's done some work. So now I'm really focusing in on that core. I'm going to bring that core in. I'm trying to talk at the same time. It helps with that balance. Lift up and back. Beautiful work. Take your time. Lift up, lift back. It's like a little running man. I feel like... Um, a cartoon character off like some PlayStation game. Do, 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 do. Mario Brothers, that's it. And I'm going, bing, up to the coin. Oh, I'm making myself fall over. Let's do two more. One. And last one. We bring it back. 
Bend in the stabilizing leg, shoot one leg forward as the arm. If you keep the hand in the bar if you want, a little swim here. Well, that's it, take him with vacation. The back leg doesn't have to be high. Roll the shoulders down away from the ears. This is hard, but great for our whole back body. That's it, let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in. A little march right here. Come out to that nice wide plie. Beautiful, sink it down. We're going to do those little stretches forward and back. Forward and side to side. Get a bit more core in right here. Inhale, exhale. This time, we're going to tip here. We rotate down and lift up. So I'm in this little arrow position. Toes are facing out, legs bent, tip and up. So your gaze can come to the ground or it can look to this arm and rotate and tip up. Rotate and tip up. So I'm using my obliques here as a tip. And I'm working that front leg and getting that nice movement through the back. Let's go for three, two, last one. If you want, you can bend that leg there, shoot that arm over. So this foot here is kind of coming more parallel, facing forwards for you. This one's still turned out. There's that nice stretch here. Inhale, exhale out, rotate around to the lunge position. Being a bit fancy on you. Inhale, exhale, use that core to pick yourself back up and sink down. Bring the arms down, lift up, down, lift up. So I'm opening up that back and lifting up. Let's go for three, two, last one. I'm gonna lift up, we wanna wave it down. Pick it back up if you want. You can wave the arms down. Swoop forward. Using that core, opening that back. If you need to, you can drop that bottom knee and work the core here. Swoop it forward. We'll come back up with me. Tuck the back toes. Lift up. Let's do two more this direction. Swoop it forward. Hold here. Lat pull back here. So we need a bit of our upper body work as we work our lower back. So with that slight push forward, if you need to, drop that back knee. I'm thinking about putting the scapula down my back. Elbows drawing into the side. I reach forward. Oh, that stabilizing glutes working. Let's go for three, two, last one. Hold it up, bring the hands down for that beautiful stretch. Slip the leg back into a plank. Knee, drop your knees, drop your knees. Slow little jog here. So once again, if that's too much for you today, you can come here and just draw the knee in. You're still working your core. Or slip one leg back, slip the other back. So glutes are down. Pushing through those five fingertips. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Hold here, walk the hands. Feel that beautiful stretch, slight bend of the knees. Inhale, exhale out, get heavy with the crown of the head, and then rebuild the spine. As you rotate to the top. Whew, feeling good. That does feel good. Let's take it to the other side. Inhale. Exhale out. You're doing well, ladies. Right from here. We're going to step that leg back again for that nice little lunge position right here. Once again, you can bring your hands here. Feel it right there. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to use that core to pick ourselves back on up. We're kind of going to reverse it around because I just realized what I have just done. That's okay. Sink down. Let's reverse it around. Lift those arms up. Pitch forward. Squeeze back here. See, even I like things up sometimes. Just got to grin, shake it off. Keep going. That's it. I can recover it. I can do it. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go for three. Two. Last one. Bring it back into the upright position, reach here. Pull it down for that nice scapular squeeze so I can feel my psoas opening up here. Once again, you can drop that back knee if you need to. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Hold here, rotate back into the center, lunge that leg forward, take that stretch over here. So this leg's foot is slightly pointed that way, that one's parallel towards you right now. Stretching it over, inhale, exhale out, 
bring it back up. I'm in this nice strong position here. We tip down, bring it up. So you can cut your gaze down here, or you can take your gaze up. It's gonna challenge your balance a little bit more. So it's the obliques that are bringing up and down. That's it, the oblique work. As we come down and lift up. Inhale and exhale. Let's do two more. Last one. Bring it back up, swizzle it back around. Really playing with you now. We've got to do those nice big reaches. Can't forget anything. I'm just keeping you on your toes so you don't get bored this morning. Keeping your brain working, because I know mine is. Inhale, exhale. Can you tell I had minimal sleep last night? Yeah, I had minimal sleep. And so I feel if I don't exercise sometimes on minimal sleep, I'm really unproductive. So I like to get this in and it actually boosts my productivity. And last one, bring it back. Come down that beautiful plie squat. Bring your hands to your hips. If you need your bar, grab it. Hold right here. Beautiful little pulses down. We're just going for it today. You're doing well, ladies. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Come into that releve. Drop it down. Into that releve if you want. Can bring the hands here. Challenge, challenge. Or onto your chair. Let's go for five. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down, hands back on the hips. I want little party hips. Little boom, boom, boom. That's it. Squizzle those hips. My hips don't want really to move. See if you can draw a figure of eight for me. Might need to bring your legs in a little bit more, but that's better. A little figure of eight. Once again, it's going to feel it works for you. So it's like I'm doing a figure of eight with my tailbone. And that's it, take it the other direction. Feels really good on my hips. Nice, let's go for three. A little party. Two, you need your party music going on in the background. That's it, sink it back down. Little pulses here. Nice, that's always a great way to do it too. I don't hear music going. You can put some party tunes on in the background. Listen to me, get your workout done. That's it, let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Hold, hold a little lower. Hold a little lower. Sway side to side. That's it. Don't have to sway, total option. I'm just controlling through these thighs. Beautiful work, so let's go for five, four, three, two, one, back to center, lift it up, walk those feet in. A little march here, picking those knees up. Inhale, exhale out. That's it, if you want, bring those hands in. Just a little stationary march, bring that heart rate down. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, bring the hands on the hips, reach up, slight arch in that back, inhale, exhale, dive it all the way down, restack that spine, inhale, exhale, slight bend to the knees, restack it back up. When it comes to the side, do one more lot of those planks. So lift yourself up, inhale, exhale, walk the hands down. Now, to get into a good plank, you can come, if planks aren't nice for you, Come into a little all fours, push through the fingers, come into a bear hopper. Okay, all come join me in bear hopper right now because it's a good way to set up for a plank. So come into all fours, we push away, lengthen the neck, just hold the knees like someone's sliding a piece of paper. Inhale, exhale up and release. Inhale, exhale, pull belly button to spine, push away from the floor, push up and out of those shoulders. Now, stay there or come with me. Inhale, exhale, step one foot back. Step the other. The glutes don't, boop, they stay down. Hold here. Let's hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it back in. Beautiful. So if you need to, you keep to that hover. Stretch it forward. Inhale. Exhale out for that nice child's pose. Lengthening our lower back out. Inhale. Exhale, catch your breath, tuck your toes, walk yourself one up, have a nice little dangle down here, feel the weight of the head stretching out that back, inhale, exhale, roll up for three, two, one, lift those arms up, slight little back bend, I like to clasp my thumbs together, and bring it back to centre, roll those shoulders down and away, 
Beautiful work, ladies. I'm hoping you're feeling strong, got your sweat on, heart rate up, ready to go tackle your day and whatever you have to do, knowing you totally rocked it this morning. Well done. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you tomorrow, day five. Bye, guys.